ICE was on the hot seat today, specifically the head of Immigration and Customs Enforcement Agency, who sometimes struggled to answer lawmakers' questions about an immigration system that was often depicted today as broken. Chief Washington correspondent James Rosen has the story. A former U.S. attorney in Texas, now the head of U.S. Immigration and Customs Enforcement, or ICE, Sarah Saldana, told the House Judiciary Committee she approaches her job as a former federal prosecutor. Yet even that posture exposed the top immigration official to tough questioning. As a former prosecutor, I'm just wondering how you can continue to square the existence of sanctuary cities with the duty of a prosecutor to ensure justice. These cities that you're talking about, sir, have their own laws, either the state passes them or there's a local ordinance over which I have no control. All I can do is to use my best persuasive powers to work with them. Saldana testified two days after auditors at the Department of Homeland Security reported that citizenship was improperly granted by a separate agency, U.S. Citizenship and Immigration Services, or CIS, to some 1,800 illegal aliens who had already received final deportation orders but used false ID and benefited from inadequate archiving of fingerprint records. The inspector general has provided two recommendations that ICE finish uploading into the digital repository the fingerprints it identified and that DHS resolve these cases of naturalized citizens who may have been ineligible. Are you in the process of doing that? Yes. And my understanding is that the inspector general is satisfied that you are doing that. Is that correct? Yes. Committee Chairman Bob Goodlatte, Republican of Virginia, pressed Saldana on still another audit conducted last year by the Government Accountability Office, which found immigration judges have granted asylum to some 3,700 aliens whose asylum claims were prepared by others convicted of immigration fraud. None of those cases have been reopened according to the Department of Justice. What action have you taken to investigate these cases? We will obviously focus on these 3,000 in particular. What action have you taken to investigate those cases? In, in those cases that we've reviewed, we have opened matters in order to take a look at them and see the facts and circumstances of each case. Finally, a document shared exclusively with our colleagues at FoxNews.com by Republican Senator Ron Johnson of Wisconsin, chair of the Homeland Security Committee, shows officials at U.S. Citizenship and Immigration Services urging coworkers there to work overtime to swear in as many new citizens as possible, quote, due to the election year. A DHS spokesman did not immediately respond to requests for comment. Brett. We will definitely follow up on that. James, thank you. you